Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jaya Gopi Janavalava Giri Badanhari Gopi Janavalava Giri Badanhari Yasura Nandana Raja Janaranjana Yasura Nandana Raja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Vanna Yamuna Tira Manna Jaya Radha Madhava Kundabi Hari Jaya Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Vadan Hari Yasura Nandana Vraja Jana Ranjana Yasura Nandana Vraja Jana Ranjana Yasura Nandana Vraja Jana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Manachari Hate Krishna Hate Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare.
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे hari bo hari bo hari bo dor hari bo shila prabhu hari ki ananta koti vai samarinda ki shishi radha vrindavan chandra ki ग्रंथ राज श्रीमद भागवत की गौर प्रेम नंदे अग्रे समी अग्रेस्त श्री गुरु एंड श्री गौरंग हरे कृष्णा सो वी आर वेरी वेरी फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव विद हिज होलीनेस कृष्ण क्षेत्र स्वामी महाराज महाराज इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू became the disciple of his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami prabhupad from 1973 to 1975 he distributed shri prabhupad books and served also as a pujari in amsterdam and schloss rittershof germany in 1977 to 1979 he traveled and preached with his holiness bhakti teeth swami maharaj harikesh swami maharaj bhakti sudhir goswami maharaj and uh, dwarka sorry Dwarkesh Prabhu and Devamre Swami Maharaj throughout Eastern Europe. 1982 to 1985, he oversaw Lord Narsingdev's worship in Simhachalam, Germany. In 1987, his con GBC body appointed him as an initiating guru. Then, up to 1995, he helped compile and publish Pancharatra Pradeep and his con's manual for temple worship. He also served as Iskon's GBC as the Minister for Deity Worship until 2005. Amidst these years and other services encouraged by senior Iskon leaders, in 95, 1995, Krishna Chetra Swami Maharaj resumed formal academic study, which he had interrupted in 1972. He completed BA in Religious Studies from University of California, an MA in Study of Religion, a Graduate Theologian Union from Berkeley. Uh, an mst that is master of studies in the study of religion from university of oxford uk and then a dphil a phd from university of oxford uk finishing his studies in 2003 based on his doctoral dissertation he then published attending krishna's image chaitanya vaishnav murti seva as devotional truth with rutledge hindu studies series maharaj is now a research fellow of the oxford center for hindu studies He also acts as the dean of studies at Bhakti Vedanta College at Radha Desh, Belgium, where he has been teaching since 2002. As during several previous years and continuing after his sannyas vows in 2014, he travels extensively for teaching, counseling, and support spiritual communities in the Vaishnav devotional tradition. We are very fortunate to have us have him here. Let us welcome him by three times loudly chanting Hari Bol, Hari Bol. ಹರಿಗೋಚಂಚನಾಕ್ಷುರುಮಿಲಿತೂತಲೇಸ್ವಾಪದಂತಿಕ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ್ತಪರಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹಗನ ರಮನತಂಗಿತ ಸಜೀವ ಸದ್ವೈತ ಸಾವರುತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪದ ಸಹಗನ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಂಡ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ 
Krishna prestaya bhutale shimate bhakti vedanta samin itinamine namaste sadasvate deve gauravani pracharine nivishesha shunyavadi paschatyade shatarine vanchakalpatrubhyascha kripa sindubhya evacha patitanam bhavanebhyo Vaishnavi Bhyonamoni He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinabandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasari, Gaurav Bhaktarinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaganarottamam Deving Sarasvatin Yasa Tato Jayamudiraye Nashta Prayeshva Badreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Everyone together Bhagavat Yuttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We're reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 30, The Activities of the Prachetas, uh, verse number 35. We have written here. <clears throat> Yatre yante katamrishtas Yatre yante katamrishtas Trishnaya prashamoyata Trishnaya prashamoyata Nirvairang yatra bhuteshu Nirvai Ram Yatra Bhuteshu Nodvego Yatra Kaschana Nodvego Yatra Kaschana Yatre Yante Katam Rishtas Trishnaya Prashamo Yataha Nirvairam Yatra Bhuteshu Nodvego Yatra Kaschana
Yatra where Idyante are worshipped or discussed. Kata words. Mrishta pure. Trishnaya of material hankerings. Prashama satisfaction. Yata by which nirvairam non-envious yatra where bhuteshu among living entities na not <laughs> udvega fear yatra where kaschana any Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Hey C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada Gita. Translation. Whenever pure topics of the transcendental world are discussed, the members of the audience forget all kinds of material hankerings, at least for the time being. Not only that, but they are no longer envious of one another, nor do they suffer from anxi anxiety or fear. Nice, nice verse. Shall we repeat it together? Whenever pure topics of the transcendental world are discussed, the members of the audience forget. What do they forget? All kinds of material hankerings. For how long? At least for the time being. <laughs> Not only that, but they are no longer envious of one another, nor do they suffer from anxiety or fear. That's good news. Purport. By kunta means without anxiety, and the material world means full of anxiety. As stated by Prahlad Maharaj, Sada samudvigna diyam asatkrahat. Living entities who have accepted this material world as a residence are full of anxiety. A place immediately becomes Vaikuntha whenever the holy topics of the personality of Godhead are discussed by pure devotees. This is the process of Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, chanting and hearing about the Supreme Lord Vishnu. As the Supreme Lord Himself confirms, Naham Tishtam Ivai Kunti Yoginam Hridayeshuva. Tatra tishtami narada yatra gayanti madbhakta. My dear Narada, actually, I do not reside in my abode by Kunta. What? Nor do I reside within the hearts of the yogis. No. But. I reside in that place where my pure devotees chant my holy name and discuss my form, pastimes, and qualities. Gayanti. Unquote. Because of the presence of the Lord in the form of the transcendental vibration, the Vaikuntha atmosphere is evoked 
This atmosphere is without fear and anxiety. One living entity does not fear another. By hearing the holy names and the glories of the Lord, a person executes pious activities. Shinvatang Svakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Pridyanta Sto Hyabhadrani Vidhunoti Surit Satan Thus, his material hankerings immediately stop. This Sankirtana movement started by the Society for Krishna Consciousness is meant for creating Vaikuntha. What is this society meant for? Ah. <clears throat> now I lost my place. Too much Vaikuntha. Ah, where was I? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yes, creating Vaikuntha, the transcendental world that is without anxiety, even in this material world. The method is the propagation of the Shravanam, Kirtanam process. Where? Throughout the world. In the material world, everyone is envious of his fellow man. Animalistic envy exists in human society as long as there is no performance of Sankirtan Yajna, the chanting of the holy names Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. I think, I think Pune Yatra is especially famous for <coughs> responding in classes in this way. This is, uh, the Prachetas therefore decided to remain always in the society of devotees and they considered that to be the highest they considered that to be the highest benediction possible in human life. What did the Prachetas decide? Yes. And what did they consider this to be? Highest benediction possible in human life. Not bad. Mukam karoti vachalam pangum langayate girim yat kripata maham vande shigurum dinatharanam. So I'm very happy to be here with all of you in this wonderful temple. I'm tempted to say it is like Vaikuntha, but I want to say it is Vaikuntha. But then again, this, this could be considered a problem, which we may consider later. <clears throat> is this only Vaikuntha? <laughs> Anyway, we will come to this. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the verse briefly. Yatra idyante katamrishtas trishnaya prashamo yata. This prashama is interesting. Uh, it, has a, it has a wide range of senses. Uh, it, it can mean sense, uh, cessation, not sensation, cessation. You know this word, cessation? To stop something? Uh, and it comes from sham, uh, which means, it can mean also to relieve, uh, it can mean to pacify. Uh, sham can also mean to kill. This is, Sanskrit is like this, you think. How is that possible? <laughs> uh, but it comes to me, it means that from the sense of stopping, you can stop someone from living. Uh, so it can have to do with violence. But of course, this is not the sense in which it's meant here. Srila Prabhupada translates 
in his word for word as satisfaction. Satisfaction is available. Uh, it comes about as a result of what? As a result of Krishna Kata. But it also has this sense of relief, relief of anxiety. And we find this already in the first canto. Sutta Goswami is speaking to the uh, sages of Naimisharanya. How many sages were there in Naimisharanya? 60,000. Did Sutta Goswami have a microphone? No microphone very loud speaker or very good listeners or a combination of both in any case <clears throat> he communicated with them about uh, Vyasadeva and in the course of his discussion about Vyasadeva and how he compiled the Srimad Bhagavatam he said Anarto Pasamang Sakshat bhakti yogam adhokshaje. Huh? Anarta upashamam. Same word. Anartas are upashama. They are uh, removed or uh, there is cessation. They are stopped. Sakshat bhakti yogam adhokshaje. By direct service to uh, adhokshaja, to the Lord, to the Supreme personality of Godhead who is sometimes referred to as Adhokshaja. Uh, Lokasya Ajanata, the, the, the people in general, being ignorant, uh, Vidvan Chakre, uh, responding to this situation, uh, Vyasadeva compiled this Sattvata Samhitam, uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, of course, we are all fortunate that uh, by the grace of Srila Prabhupada, uh, all the Acharyas previous, that we can also hear Srimad Bhagavatam and benefit, uh, infinitely benefit from it. Uh, but I, w I want to jump now to think about what Rupa Goswami tells us uh, in his uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. He tells us there are six qualities of pure devotional service. You know about this, right? What is the what are these six qualities? Anybody anyone know? Mm -hmm. Get that part of the brain awake, awakened. Kleshagni. Ah, uh, now you remember. Subhada. Moksha Laguda Krit. Sudhulava, Sandrananda, Visheshatma, Sri Krishna, Karshini, Akarshini, Chasa. We got it. This was a communal memory process. So, the first of these is Klesha Gni. Uh, the subsiding, the, the, the stoppage of Klesha. Now I need some help. I was trying this morning to remember what are the kleshas? What are all the kleshas? There's six of them, isn't it? According to uh, Patanjali, Yoga Sutras. Okay, help me out here, because I could only remember three. Yes, as we get older, this happens. <laughs> there's Raga, there's Dvesha, and the last one is Abhinivesha. Any? Any? Asmita. Oh, he's cheating. He's looking in his computer. Uh, uh, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. I was, I, was, I was judging before. See, this is a danger. You see someone do something and you immediately judge as something bad, but you may not understand properly. Okay. Well, Asmita, Avidya, Asmita, Raga, Dvesha, Abhinivesha. That's five. Wasn't there one more? Oh, it's five. You're right. There's five. Okay. Anyway, the point is that uh, these are all kleshas. And what is a klesha? 
klesha is a misery. And we could say, broadly speaking, all of these have to do with anxiety, isn't it? Anxieties are, you can say anxieties are, they can be very small anxieties, they can be very big anxieties. I was thinking also this morning, we might consider anxiety in relation to the ashramas. So, uh, brahmacharis are, at least theoretically, carefree, right? Nothing to worry about. You are laughing? Oh, I know, it's because you have great anxiety in the morning whether someone stole your gumsha. <laughs> but I think na now the modern brahmachari has greater anxieties. Is my phone charged? <laughs> right? <clears throat> Krihasa ashram anxieties skyrocket. Isn't it? Am I right? Rihasas can, can tell me whether this is true. Why is this true? It's because responsibilities have, have increased. The, the responsibility of the householder is, uh, is so much more than the responsibility of the other ashrams. And therefore, according to Manu, the first ashram the imp most important ashram is actually Grihasta ashram. So, we who are not in the Grihasta ashram should not be should not be proud. Hmm. So, uh, so the, the 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 general point of the verse that's being made here is about speaking. It's about kata, and Prabhupada is translating the word kata as words. We know also the word kata can mean stories. So uh, this evening everyone is going to be blessed and over several evenings with His Holiness Lokanath Swami's uh, Gora Kata. That will be wonderful indeed, I'm sure. Um, I, I'm a little envious of those of you all who can follow Hindi because he will be speaking in Hindi, isn't it? Yeah. Muje sirf torasi torasi Hindi ati hai. So words and kata. Now, one of the interesting things themes or motifs in the, in the Bhagavatam, which you can look for, you can be um, looking out for, is the power of words. Words can, we used to say when I was a sm small child in school, when someone would bully us, say something nasty, we had a mantra. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. You don't have that in Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. This was our little defense against uh, words of insult. But of course, actually, the words were very much hurting. <laughs> Isn't that? So we could say, in a, in a broad sense, that on the one side, as it's said here, uh, words, words related to the Supreme Lord are creating Vaikuntha, and the opposite is also true. Words which are not connected with Krishna, what we sometimes call prajalpa, uh, they increase, they, they create anxiety. What better example of this is there than uh, the, uh, the mass media? Mass media's main function 
is to generate and perpetuate anxiety. They're doing a very good job of this nowadays in talking about this disease condition that sprung up in China. They're calling it a coronavirus. And of course, the devotees understand that, yes, this is what material life is and what we're interested in getting infected with and spreading to others is the Karuna virus. <laughs> <Right? clears throat> but my, my point is <laughs> here is that uh, the media is spreading anxiety and perpetuating that anxiety. Uh, and, and why do they do that? It makes money. Uh, people, we want to be in anxiety, it seems. Tell us more about our mis miserable condition. Tell us more about the danger that we are in. Uh, interesting uh, aside about this, uh, this, uh, this virus um, is what they're not telling you in the news is that uh, in America, Anutama Prabhu made this point in Mayapur a few days ago, uh, that in America, routinely, several thousands are dying uh, from ordinary, uh, ordinary flu. Like, I think he, he referred to an information, in a period of four or five months, 20,000 people in America had died from ordinary flu. So that's, you know, that they're not telling us that. <laughs> um, they're telling us. And what else is increasing the anxiety of this news? The, the anxiety is what's going to happen next? And so the general anxiety that everyone feels is the sense of uncertainty. And what is the greatest uncertainty? The, huh? the greatest uncertainty is what is going to happen after this life? Is there going to be life after this life? Actually, in ancient Greece, uh, there was one philosopher, Epicurus, who argued that there is no life after this life and therefore there is no reason to have anxiety in this life and in particular there's no reason to have anxiety about death. Why? No anxiety? I'm in great anxiety if there's nothing after life. No, he said, there will be nothing. There will not be you to be in anxiety. There will be not, there will be no you to think, oh, I lost my life. You won't exist. That was his philosophy. Which developed into uh, uh, what became Epicureanism. Uh, and now the English word Epicurean means to enjoy this life in a tasteful way. That's Epicureanism. Yes, be tasteful. Be, be, be a connoisseur of sense enjoyment. Hmm. That's, that sounds good, <laughs> but it doesn't really work. So, we have two things. We have uh, the situation of anxiety and we have the situation of no anxiety. And Srila Prabhupada is uh, saying something very interesting in his purport uh, when he says, uh, the Sankirtan movement started by the Society for Krishna Consciousness is meant for creating, and I'm underlying underlining this word, creating Vaikuntha. Meant for creating Vaikuntha, the transcendental world that is without anxiety, 
even in this material world. So that's, that's, our, that's kind of a mission statement, isn't it? So these, uh, this is something for us to think about as we think individually and collectively, what are we about? We're about creating uh, freedom from anxiety. And what I want to suggest us to think further about in the context of that is can we communicate to people uh, as we are, as we call it, preaching, as we are connecting with people, as we are doing what we call outreach. I like to say, you know, outreach is a very good thing, but until there is proper in-reach, there is not going to be effective outreach. Of course, the in-reach process, this is part, uh, reading, hearing, is very much essential part of that. So, the question I want to raise is, is it possible for us, with this sense that we want to uh, bring about, we want to uh, mm, help in creating Vaikuntha, is it possible that we are able to communicate a non-sectarian message? Or put it another way, could it be the case that as we go about our efforts, people uh, perceive us in a way that we don't intend, namely as some sort of sectarian, oh, there are so many, so many missions, so many different uh, religious organizations, institutions, and so on. Can we, can we get away from that? Can we help people? Or are we stuck uh, by even telling people, we are non-sectarian? They say, oh, you're very interesting. Um, people who are very sectarian who say that you are non-sectarian. You see what I'm saying? We have, I would suggest, a challenge. Uh, we have a challenge wherever we are in helping people to benefit from Krishna consciousness without being put into anxiety that by taking the benefit that we want to get uh, across to them that they are somehow getting drawn into something sectarian. This, I would suggest, is uh, it's a challenge. The beginning of uh, addressing the challenge, what would that beginning be? I would suggest it's to understand ourselves very clearly <laughs> that we are not some sectarian thing, that we are simply giving a message of service to the Supreme Lord, however you may want to call him. As Prabhupada many times would say, there are uh, hundreds and thousands of names of God. So like that, we can, uh, we can appreciate for ourselves. We have a, a, a message for the world and we can understand for ourselves, yes, who is this Supreme Personality of Godhead? He is none other than Krishna. Krishna, this very intimate name of the Lord, uh, is our, our favorite. <laughs> and uh, we, 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 can, we can exist in, in a sense in two worlds. Uh, we we are, Srila Prabhupada would say, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. He's actually quoting a Christian statement when he says that. You may be surprised to know. <laughs> that expression comes uh, from Christian tradition. Well, there are other points to be made here, but I want to stop here because I want to see if there's any response, any thoughts you have on this question that I am raising. Uh, and I want to keep well to uh, the time schedule. Uh, I want to respect the 
time schedule. So I will stop here. Grantaraj Shiman Bhagavatam Ki Jai Hare Krishna. Reflections. Anything on this subject related to these points? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you for the class, Maharaj. I never heard you speak before, and that was very inspiring. Um, this point of being non-sectarian, but coming across potentially as sectarian, mm. is something I, th I think about frequently, especially mm. on book distribution. Mm. Because what distinguishes myself as a book distributor from someone who's distributing Bibles at the same college lab that I'm at. Right. And I, it, upon introspecting on this point, what constantly comes to mind is how am I behaving? Am I trying to give or am I simply trying to get people to join mm -hmm. what I'm doing? Or am I just simply, simply trying to give the over, overflow of what I've received? Yeah. And I think that's really what distinguishes my my idea of how I can come across as non-sectarian is mm -hmm. whether you choose to become a full-time devotee or whether you choose to remain how you are if you can receive something from Prabhupada's words yeah. then I would consider what I'm doing a success but mm. to put that into practice it really takes a lot of <laughs> cultivation and yes. no. introspection yes thank you that's very nice nice point Exactly, and it reminds me of uh, a comment Srila Prabhupada made in Berkeley, California at University of California, Berkeley, where I studied uh, for some time. He was speaking to Indian uh, students and they were all uh, technology students. And Prabhupada, as you know, could sometimes be rather blunt. And he said, so you have come here uh, to learn technology. So that means you are beggar. And then he said, but I, speaking of himself, he said, but I am not a beggar. I am a giver. He was, you know, making this contrast uh, and he spoke in a similar way on other occasions, especially speaking, especially when he was speaking with Indians. Uh, but yes, if we can just meditate, I am a giver. I am giving what I have received. And I like what you said, the overflow uh, of what we have, we give. And people can take uh, as much as they are able is another point. As much as they are able, let them take. And if they, can't, can't, if they cannot take anything but your sincere smile and well-wishing of them, that's fine, because maybe next time they will take something more. Yes. Yes. Hare Krishna Maharaj. First of all, I thank you for my heart for giving such a wonderful presentation. So that you ask the reflection. So Prabhupada has a built a house where everybody can live. Mm. So that's the main thing. Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Mm. That uh, this entire, uh, all the people, they belong to Krishna. Yes. Because Krishna is within the heart of every person. So, as you said, the Prabhuji also said that we have to bring the person one step closer to Krishna. Mm. One step closer to appreciate good living, one mm. step closer to live, uh, the, closer to appreciate the saintly life, good life, good food, good lifestyle by our interaction. Any person who is interacting with us, he should come one step closer. He may mm. take lifetime, but yes. we can't just push them exactly. or whatever they want. And Prabhupada has given everything, yes. the book, lifestyle, the food, the culture, where everybody can offer it. Thank you also very nice points and it reminds me of something of the opposite I always remember uh, there was one uh, brahmachari when I first joined the temple in Germany he was a very sincere soul very enthusiastic 
uh, maybe just a bit too enthusiastic because when, when he was on the street distributing books, uh, he would approach people, his, his, his method, he would approach people and he would speak to them from this clothes. He would say, you should take this book right now. <laughs> and they would go, yes, okay, okay, I'm, I'm taking it. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Speaking of books, I will, uh, I should end. So I, I want, I've shared with uh, the brahmacharis yesterday evening, but I do want to uh, show you something of what I've been doing uh, as my small attempt to serve Srila Prabhupada. I've written a book which is, it's an academic publisher. Uh, it is called Cow Care in Hindu Animal Ethics. Uh, it's part of another, part of a series of books on what's called animal ethics. It's a topic which has been uh, increasingly engaging intellectuals and I was asked to write on Hinduism and animal ethics, therefore the word Hindu is included much as I'd prefer uh, not. But um, the book is what I wanted is of course, we're very uh, concerned to focus on Srila Prabhupada's book, so you may consider this as a supplement on this particular uh, topic. I introduce Srila Prabhupada uh, and I contrast him with other uh, important figures in the cow protection movement. And I also introduce uh, some of our ISKCON projects uh, where we have cow protection. The point is that the book is available to any of you who can read English, and I think all of you can, because it's open access, which means it's open for free digital download. Uh, and if you're interested, I can give you the link uh, to this uh, where you can download it. Or you can just search the title of the book and you'll find Cow Care in Hindu Animal Ethics. You will not find my name, Krishna Kshetra Swami. You'll find my given name, but don't worry, it's the same person. I wear two, I wear two hats, you see. <laughs> okay, so I will say thank you all very much. Srila Prabhupada ki, Grantaraj Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Gaur Premanande Hare Krishna.